Hello guys, this is another Sharing 101 and our topic for today is about Cubase Step Input Recording Okay, Step Input Recording So in Cubase, uh, this is a very powerful tool when you uh, when you want to uh, notate uh, fast passages you just have to use a step input recording and of course in Cubase um, in step input recording uh, you can also uh, step input add add time or add note groupings like five note 16 notes in one beat or seven sixteenth notes per beat or eleven sixteenth notes per beat in cubase this is very easy so let's go to our uh, violins one okay so here I use the um, cinematic studio strings and we'll just make a MIDI event okay so here is the MIDI event and we'll go to here okay so in step input recording we just have to uh, click this um, icon okay and will use uh, the 16th notes in step input uh, the default uh, the default setting for 16th notes is four 16th notes per beat no so let's uh, make some patterns in four 16th notes per beat now let's um, make a pattern based on the half diminished scale Okay, so here it's a regular uh, 16th note patterns, but in some cases, um, if you uh, if you are mocking up uh, orchestral scores or movie scores, there there are certain um, lines that have a five note grouping. Okay, so how will you make a five note or seven note grouping in the step input recording so one thing is uh, Jonathan Rex um, taught me on how to do it uh, and it's very easy so here we go to our quantize panel okay and here in the quantize panel um, we have to set the grid in one fourth, okay? In one fourth, meaning uh, per beat, no? In one bar, so four beats in one bar. And then here in our tuplet button, the default setting is off. So here we have to make this uh, in five note grouping, so can also use this uh, arrow key or the roller of your mouse okay so let's do it so here is two three four and five and that's it so if you uh, look at this per bit is one two three four five that is 16 note grouping or if you want uh, six note grouping it's an even number uh f a seven note grouping one two three four five six seven okay so let's make this five note grouping and uh, you can also uh, save this um, setting by um, with this button save preset so you can also save this okay so let's click this one 
Okay, so we have a five note grouping and let's make a seven note grouping. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven per beat. And again, let's uh, save the preset. So that's it, guys. Um, let's uh, make the five note grouping. So here, we can use another um, pattern uh, based on the uh, half diminished scale. And then let's um, use the seven note grouping. So that's it, guys. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, this one is the step input recording, and then again. Let's make our MIDI notes uh, extended. Okay, let's overlap a little. Okay, as well as this one and this one. Okay, let's uh, extend it a little bit so that the CSS will trigger the <coughs> excuse the legato articulation. So this is it, and then. Let's go to our cinematic studio strings, the violins one. Okay, let's listen. So this is it. Or if you want, let's go to our uh, let's let's um, pitch. Yeah, this one. Okay, so here it is, and listen to our uh, add groupings, the five note and seven note grouping, and the regular four note grouping. Okay, so this is it. Again. Um, let's um, let's make uh, a modulation automation. Okay, so this is it. So that's it, guys. That's the, the step input recording of uh, Cubase. Okay. So one more time. Let's uh, play this one. Okay, guys, that's the step input recording, and it's so easy to make a five note, seven note, 11 note grouping per beat. Okay, okay guys, so that's my sharing 101. So, Cubase rules. Okay, bye bye, guys.